Texas is number two in the country for human trafficking and sex trafficking. And Houston is one of the biggest places that it occurs in. You know, it's right here in our own backyard. It's not, a lot of people think that sex trafficking occurs in third world countries far away from us, but it's right here, it's in Texas, you know? Our movie has people that are in it that are from Dallas-based. They're Dallas-based people. They are students that go to Texas-based universities. I think that sometimes it can be kind of hard for people to learn about human sex trafficking because it is a very sensitive topic, but it's something that needs to be talked about. And I really like how this movie does that. I highly recommend that parents come so that they can you know, know what the signs of human sex trafficking, know what it is, because a lot of people don't know what it is. And so we hope that parents can come so that they can educate their children on it. We ask that no younger than 14, because it does have sensitive co content in it, that younger than 14 would probably not be able to watch, but it does, 14 and up would be able to come. So anybody, it's free to the public, anyone can come see it. Priceless will be here at McKinney North in the auditorium. Doors will open at six o'clock. We'll have um, a booth open for people to come and get like talk to people, talk to organizations that deal with it, and then our screening for stopping traffic, the movement to end sex trafficking, will start at 6.30. And then right after that, we will have a Q&A panel, which will be filled with all different people that can answer questions on sex trafficking and any questions that the public has. It's happening right here, you know? And so we are the age that it's happening most towards. And, you know, it, a lot of um, victims are in our years, years, they're teenagers, some even children, and so for us to, teach and educate people about what ages and how you can see like signs of sex trafficking, human trafficking, stuff like that. And we are also, we're the future, you know, and so if it stops with us, it will make a huge difference. And if we just keep educating people about it, then hopefully it will decrease instead of increasing like it is now.